Hey guys, welcome back to Ace of Vegas. So today I decided we are gonna, uh, you know what we're about. Let's go ahead and play some slots here. So here's another game that I've been dreading today. I think we're gonna go ahead and try Omet's Gold. Uh, we're starting a little lower than we have been. We've dipped below the 200 million line. So we're down to 194 million chips, uh, and we are just going to go ahead and go into it. So I bet you this one's going to have another high bet line just to survive the entire experiment. We may have to stay pretty low. We may have to say at uh, 600,000 or what have you, or whatever's closest to the usual 30 million that we put through this. Although I feel like that, that average just jumped up to like 80 million or something absurd. Yep, and looks like they got a little bingo bonus here. Um, woof. That is rough. Look at this. This is nuts. All right. Well, I guess we're looking at uh, 375,000. So we're going to be putting about 37 million through the through the machine here. So 37 million 500,000. And we'll just go ahead and do the usual 100 spins. You know what to do. On your mark, get set, ready, go. And uh, Omat's Gold is something I've never really played. It looks like it's based off of uh, Mayan history and mythology and all that. And I've never actually tried to sit down to figure out what the game's about, too. I see there's a fair spread of wilds, which is pretty neat. And, you know, just how it is. Rough day today. Uh, I'm filming this on a Tuesday for Wednesday here. Stan Lee died this Monday. And it's just it's just been rough. I've been looking at my timeline and looking at all the... All the I, I won't even say the memes, all the tributes on the timeline there. And it's just like... It, it's tough to watch, you know? Uh, because, Stan, you know, Stan Lee's always been one of my favorite creative influences, been a big creative influence. I love superheroes. I love comic books. I love, like, big, you know, universes, big interconnected universes where you feel like, you know, you can see all your favorite heroes together doing something cool. And, you know, he's real inspiring. Just, uh, you know, he, he did his thing. He, he lived forever, and he's always been a staple in the industry. So it's sad to see such a, you know, such a giant go by the wayside. Now, in fairness, it was in his mid-90s, so that's the way it is. Okay, we got our first bonus game over here, so we have to spin this giant wheel, and hopefully we get to match these colors up. And I don't really know if I get any choice in how I match the colors up. They just kind of spin. Okay, th so three times uh, 1.25 million, so that brings us up to 3.75, so that means I got one more spin because I matched up the colors somehow and here's hoping for oh yep there we go five times the 250,000 so we're up to a total of five million already this actually I get one more spin so this actually may put us over our initial bet and that's 25 in 25 spins in and we're already above our initial bet oh okay I guess we get to keep going I'm not sure if this is like spin till you lose or what have you I can't remember if this was just off a of straight up, like, oh, okay, it keeps going. 10 million. So this last one I'm probably going to lose. It's going to let me keep going, though. Oh, no, no, that was it. That was the last one I get. So 10 million, 500,000. That's pretty respectable. Off of a game I didn't fully understand. All right, and it didn't stop our uh, free spin count, so that's pretty cool, or our not-so-free spin count. There we go. Hopefully, we can get some free spins and make up for all the losses that we keep having. Uh, there's another themed casino, a Mayan-themed casino. I figured that I mean, we got a little bit of Mayan and South American theming in the, uh, in the Mandalay Bay last time we went. When we went to the Shark Reef, there's a bit of that, too. They have Komodo dragons and a gold crocodile and all. Oh, that's a good one. So that's pretty neat. So we got a little bit of that theming. I really do miss the theming in a lot of Vegas hotels. They do a lot of kind of, they don't do the kitschy stuff so much anymore. It's always super luxurious. And I guess that's what the what the market's shooting for nowadays, just the luxury. Oh, we got another spin bonus. This has actually been pretty good. All right, let's see if we get anything else big. I doubt that we're going to get anything off of this because we, we won big last time. But... Let's just see what happens. Can't hurt to spin. Can't hurt to spin. 
No. No. All right, all right. One more spin. Let's see. No. <laughs> that should have been an instant loss. There's no way I should have made that spin. So if, I, if I'm doing my maths correctly, uh, by default, we've already made a profit, even if we lose every other spin here. I think we're only about 41 spins in. So if we lose every other game here, we're still going to make a profit off this game. So this actually might be one of our rare wins here, one of our rare best slots in my Vegas slots. <laughs> best games in my Vegas slots, I should say. No sorting way, really. That didn't even look like it was trying to let me win. It looked like, I don't know, it looks like I, like, hack-tooled it. <laughs> Everyone's gonna jump on this video and be like, fake, no way, no way, Ace isn't that good. And that's true, I'm not that good. That's why I had to fake a little loss over here, or what have you. So, 32 million, that's a huge win. That pretty much makes up for whatever we put in this machine now. Here we go, back to it. That'd be really killer if we jaw drop bonus. I don't know what this is. Okay. And there's another big win. I don't know how we got that. It's just a random bonus they award you. Huh. Ugh, still though, I'm, I'm excited now, but I still feel bad for Stan. Uh, I mean, he, you know, he, he was 95 when he passed on, unfortunately. Uh, so that was just, you know, eventually it was going to happen. That's just how it is. You know, you, nobody lives forever. Nobody lives forever. And that's just something we got to do. But, you know, Stanley, greatest creator I've ever met. Uh, someday I wish to have, uh, any property that's remotely as great as anything he got as Spider-Man, Thor, Black Panther, uh, you know, the X-Men as a whole too. Um, you know, just enough said. He's the man. Stan the Manly, enough said. All right. Uh, also, a little bit of bad news. We may have to delay our Mirage trip till uh, 2019, unfortunately, Wendy and I, because a lot of the, you know, a lot of the plane tickets are ridiculous coming from Denver. You know, like they're like four or five hundred bucks, like, you know, one way. Some of them, and I'm just sitting here like, nah, because. And I'm a bit spoiled because we do live in uh, Denver. DIA is a good hub city for Frontier, and they fly out there pretty frequently. Uh, so there is that, and we usually get our tickets pretty cheap, like, uh, 40, 50 bucks, but no more than, like, a hundred dollars each way, so I never mind doing that, um, and we usually could catch them on a sale, too, so, like, a 75% off sale or whatever, so we just basically pay the taxes on it, and the airfare is, like, two dollars or something absurd like that, so I usually don't mind doing that and waiting on them. Frontier's got these really small seats, these small, uncomfortable seats, but we're only there for like an hour, hour and a half on the flight, so I don't really, usually really care, and neither does Wendy, so we, that's just how we kind of roll with it, but yeah, I don't think Frontier's worth, you know, like $500 a piece for us to fly for the hour and a half, I don't think that's worth it, so we might just go ahead and wait out, because um, she's got a, you know, she's at the end of the year with the Christmas break and all that, and finals and all, so PTO is a little tough to come by for a teacher, unfortunately, and that's just the way it is, so we'll be all right. I I'm going to look at uh, look at them on Black Friday, too. I might even do a Black Friday stream to see if we can hack ourselves some, uh, some good plane ticket deals. That would be pretty dope if anybody's going to be home for Black Friday, and uh, maybe I'll do some stream highlights as a video. That'd be kind of cool, and we'll see if I'm the fastest man with the keyboard. Ah, darn. Okay, okay. So it looks like we ended at 223,509,322. So let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. We're going to take a quick break, and I'm going to count up the booty. Okay, guys. Tremendous success this go-around. So I crunched the numbers and all. And bottom line, we had a huge payback percentage. We had a payback percentage of 177.14%. That's outstanding. That's actually one of our better slots, and we haven't had one of those for a while. So Omet's Gold gets a favorite over here. Also, it was really cool that we kept hitting those bonuses. So I figured one of these games on the page had to be good. I just didn't know which one. So now we know which one. 
All right, so next time I think we should go ahead and hit Seven Kingdoms. And then um, this weekend, I, w I finally actually finished editing the Beginner's Guide. And I'm just about done with the Binion's Casino How to Play Guide, too. So those will be posting up this weekend, I think uh, Saturday, Sunday. I just have to go ahead and clean up the audio a little bit because it jumps in spots. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. And then we're going to be ready to rock and roll for you guys. So until then, Ace of Vegas is signing out. And happy spinning.